The federal government, of course, comes in to stop the nativity scene. Of course, baby Jesus needs to get kicked off the courtyard. No shit. This includes a nice little cameo from Papa Bill. Unfortunately, Papa Bill's cameo isn't really real. It's a nicely 2007 cropped YouTube video posted on a Vizio and expected that people would take it as a cameo appearance. How they even know it as a nice cameo appearance, but I doubt even Fox News touched this pile of shit. The hammer gets ballsy and knocks down Ted Danson's Christmas tree, which makes him go on a complete rampage, goes, picks up a cross, puts it on a public building with the help of a midget motorcycle gang. I shit you not, this is in the fucking movie! And of course he pisses everyone off, and that he goes to fucking jail. Yes, Merry Christmas, bitch! From there, his homosexual grandson decides to go ruin the retelling of the ever-classic 2001 A Christ Odyssey, a director who which I guess would never get a permission to play this at a public school. And he has enough balls to go ruin that too as well by putting baby Jesus in the proper place. He then reveals a giant projector screen, and this is probably one of the most what-the-fuck moments ever. He gladly shows an audience of children, grand grandparents, grand people, whatever, including some black person's eyes. Yeah, they're very diverse. And he shows a brutal murder of his father on a classic Gonzo style YouTube video. Very tasteful. Very tasteful. And that's supposed to remind us that they are fighting for our freedom. Our freedoms are being taken away from us one by one. Ted Danson, while in jail, hears all this play through a tiny radio provided by some member of ZZ Top. And of course, this makes the movie completely unbelievable. The prisoner turns out to be a fucking angel. Yes, the, un the unbelievable premise of this film has just gotten completely crazy. And it destroys any argument you made about fucking freedom or religion. Because they pandered this for a good hour about how everybody has a choice to believe in what they want to believe. And the freedom of diversity. And only to tell everyone at the last minute that they are wrong entirely is very, very, very ballsy to say the least. But it proves this movie is nowhere near common sense. Did I mention Ted Danson's real name in this is Bob Revere? Yeah, it's like fucking Glenn Beck wrote this, pretty much. Did I mention that this movie, the entire charade of the hammer, he just gives up by the end of the film. It's not like he cares anymore. At the end of the film, the fucking police, chief of police releases uh, Ted Danson and everything, and you know what they do? They just say, fuck it. Fuck it. Who cares? You know? Who cares? I knocked down your Christmas tree. I, uh, you know, I had to base with you. I try to get you at you know, kicked off as mayor and everything, and you know what, I took all this effort, and just because it's Christmas, eh, fuck it, I don't care. Get off my case, Davis, can't you light up for one night and drop the pig scene? When it comes time for you to stop winning, you're gonna be glad to have a pig in your poke. What the fuck, Hammer? What the fuck? And for whatever weird reason, they attempt to make, like, some weird... A uh, story about having another daughter that didn't even come to her fucking brother's funeral, might I add. She just went to like some progressive, progressive city and that she decided to escape that crazy cult-like environment of that town. And she m just comes in time for fucking Christmas dinner. Yeah, yeah. W was I supposed to care? It's bullshit. And you could already guess, this is where the movie falls flat. This makes Christmas with a capital C look logical. Because at the end of the movie, they do the unthinkable. They also, besides putting a fucking angel in the situation and saying that their religion is correct, they also get their nice Christmas tree, their nice nativity scene back up on public property like a bunch of assholes. Yeah, I'd like to see that happen in 2012, baby. You know, I mean, I, I was thinking about writing the rest of this. I just wanted to give you my final verdict on the film. It fucking sucked. And it fucking made me pissed that a bunch of motherfuckers got up and actually clapped for this piece of shit. It's unbelievable. It's, it's horribly edited. It's horribly... I do better editing than this piece of shit. My audio is better than them. And they actually had a budget. I just get my fucking camera, put it wherever I am, and film. Hopefully I'll take maybe 30, 40 minutes to write a script. I don't take much time. You can obviously tell that. But this film 
had a budget. This film had promotion. This had marketing. And it had enough nerve to put all their marketing production shit in the background on everything. Everything had their fucking company logo name on it. And you know what? It looks bad. It's a bad looking movie. And the war scenes in the film are supposed to be intense. Look like I fucking shot that in the back of the ravine when I was a kid. And just added some CGI cloud bursts and shit. It was horrible looking. To think that this movie even had over like a million dollars as a budget would be a disgrace because I really don't know how much these people were paid. I think that like 98% of it just went to Mitt Romney and 2% of the, the um, profit went to actually trying to make a movie. But it became so goddamn con confusing and so complex and ultimately so ball kicking, kicking in the balls literally and insulting to any logic whatsoever that it's just infuriating and I can't believe anyone actually wrote this shit. And they have enough nerve at the end of the fucking movie to clap after that two minute creepy monologue of Ted Danson explaining they are trying to take your religion. They. It's, the no it's enough shit to make Timothy McVeigh cry in his fucking orange jumpsuit. It's that disgusting. It's that propaganda. It's Goebbels propaganda. It's worse than Obama. I hate Obama. I hate Romney even more. But this is just total garbage. To think that this was this this was funded? I don't even care if you're conservative or liberal. It doesn't make any sense. How would anyone let this garbage come into existence? This is chemical sludge coming from the fucking sewers. This is shit that we thought back in the 1850s, 1860s died off. And they have enough nerve to think that this is diverse by showing a clip of some black guy's eyes? I don't care. They, they did that. They pandered that. They tried to make it seem like they're inclusive. They're not inclusive. They had one black person's eyes close up. Didn't even have a speaking part. And so Williamson was, he was the fucking bad guy. So if you think I have a problem with, with contemporary movies, you have no idea how pissed I am with this fucking film. This is, has to be probably the worst thing, most annoying thing I had to sit through. And while I can laughingly joke at Christmas with the capital C, because everything was tongue in cheek in that film, a lot of it was garbage, and they kind of knew it was garbage, that's why it was direct to DVD. These people meant business. And unfortunately, these people think that this is going to go promote anything? They're preaching to the choir, pun intended. It's a bunch of bullshit. And then everybody, 85 plus in the audience, got up. I sat there speechless. It might have been that leader of Paps Blue Ribbon I had to sit and, and drink. And so I actually sat there. They, uh, they came up to me. Uh, at the movie theater, asked me if I like Pabst Blue Room. I was like, no, I'm just trying to fucking blend in. I gave them an extra tip just because they had to deal with those assholes. If this is the film for modern conservatism, kill me now. Because at least liberals know how to make good films. So, what can I say? Fuck this movie, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Get the fucking camera out of my way. Good morning, gentlemen. It's my pleasure to tell you uh, that... Sir, you are interrupting our breakfast. We never discuss business while we're eating. Well, I lived with it. I dealt with it. I edited it. And it's out there for you guys now to bitch about. And... I'm even putting up, hopefully tonight or tomorrow, depending on how long it will take, I am basically going to put up the entire conversation that Travis and I had with Brandon and Olivia after we saw the movie. It's not going to be a video, but it's going to be a complete conversation. It's going to be all about an hour long. That's how bad we had to discuss it, to hear all the barebone act, you know, everything about it. And I can guarantee you, when this comes out on DVD, I will be ripping this apart with more detail, more information, just everything. Well, at least we got that out of the way, right? Mother... Fucker!